Welcome back to 370Z Daily Vlogs. And guys, I got a banger for y'all today. Let me pull my camera back. I got a banger for y'all today. Um, I got some new add-ons on the Z over here. Uh, I told y'all I would get the add-ons. Uh, it been a lot of delays on the add-ons uh, that's I'm gonna, that I was going to do on the Z because of Christmas and the holidays and uh, the first of Europe. But anyway, guys, I got some banger add-ons. So here y'all go. Bam! That's the add-ons, guys. So we got the headlights installed. There you go. Uh, Moto Moto headlights. And you got three different kind of like uh, lights right there. I don't know what they'll call it. And it got the stripe right there. So I just, literally, I just got them installed. My buddy installed them for me. I didn't install it because I didn't want to risk. I'm not a perfect installer when it comes to electrical. And I didn't want to install these. And um, they'll catch on fire or anything like that. But they'll install. You can see how they'll look right now. Um, I'm still waiting for my E85. E85. I did talk to admin. He said the powder coating my cold air intake because I'm gonna go with a three inch cold air in intake, and um, he go send that and the injectors at the same time. Then I'm gonna go to Cantec and get them to install it over there in Houston, Texas, and then I'm gonna be on the, uh, the car gonna be E85 with the uh, three inch intake. The lights right here, y'all can see them. Um, you can find these lights uh, on Moto Moto website. Uh, they're very very expensive. They're like 1300. My girlfriend bought it for me for Christmas. So I'm excited about having these lights. They look good. I have yet to like basically cut them on and use them, but I'm gonna show y'all how they look. Plus, I ha I do have another add-on that I want to show y'all too that I got on the car. But first, let's look how it look under the hood, guys. So you can see, uh, it looked pretty good. It don't look all the way like factory, but it don't look bad. Uh, let me prop this up for a minute, guys. Uh, bear with me here. Yeah, so, okay, I'm back. So, I'm looking at two to get the strut kit for this because you got, like, an air strut that basically hold, a, um, hold this hood up without having this. So, that's going to be another video I'm going to do because I'm going to add them two to each side so I don't have to use this little bore to prop my hood on. So, everybody, everybody know the setup. I got a Z1 intake, ported manifold, Kohler intake, which these is coming out of it. Plus, I'm running, I'm going to be running E85 too, which I got that kit coming in and polished admin black intake which is like three inches but as you can see right here you can see they're pretty pretty nice made they'll come with like i think a year warranty i think i think there was a year warranty on this um i guess this is something to make make it look better but like they forgot a boat here maybe but they're in there pretty good i ain't moving um and i got this side which is the same thing and you can see um they're in there pretty good i guess it ain't no boats on on the back side of that because they'll kind of aftermarket but yeah um i'm gonna go to um advanced auto parts and get like some boats to go in there just to because like i said guys most likely i'm gonna raffle this car off and that's the plan for this car to be a raffle so i want everything to look pretty much you know close to stock but other than that the lights in there they've been inspected so let me go up in there and we go cut the lights on so y'all can see how the lights look And don't pay attention to, to the beep. If you got a Z, you know that it'll beep if your keys are all, already in there. So let's go look right now. As you can see. Oh, let me cut the music off for y'all guys. I didn't know the music was on. Okay. So back to it anyway. But as you can see, the these new more moto moto headlights that have a strip right here with the led right there so you can see on that side that side and we'll do a video at night so y'all can see it but that's pretty cool in the daytime my running lights that's how they'll look plus uh my bottom fall lights would be on too so let me let me crank it up so y'all can kind of see better how it look let's see so as you can see my bottom lights on my bottom lights on right, the, right there, and these strip right there is on. So that look pretty badass coming down the road with it. And let me, I'm gonna shut the hood right quick so y'all can see how it look. Rock the hood up. So bam, that's it guys. That look crazy right there. That's crazy. And let me go cut the lights on so y'all can see. So now I got my lights on auto. 
Oh, well, it's too daylight now, but that's how they'll look anyway on auto. But let me turn my lights on. I wish I had somebody else to help me. Uh, is it on now? Nah. Let's see, guys. If I had somebody help me, it'd be perfect. I ain't got nobody to help me. Uh, this should be it right here. So, yeah, there you go. So, now you can see the lights is on right now. And each one of these uh, uh, cube things have lights in it. So, at night, I can't wait to see how it look at night. Plus, guys, the front kit, I talked to my buddy. Uh, I'm going to order my kit. I'm tired of my kit looking like that. It's going to be a carbon fiber lip. But I'm going to go on and, and order that so we can have that in, too. Because um, for the people new here, this car will be getting painted. After I do all the add-ons, like the Z1 fenders, that, and um, put my BC coilovers in, which came in. If y'all look at my shorts, that finally came in. So, uh, let's look at the side of it. I'm going to keep on auto and do the side. So, y'all know I have the Z1, uh, not the Z1, but the uh, the side blinker that go like this. Like the light should go in the front, too. And as you can see right there in the front, guys, I got the light, too, that do the same thing. So, from the front to the side you can see the light do the it go all the way up and then the side go all the way up so that's pretty cool right there guys and i'm gonna make sure the side work and the back lights work because like i said guys this is the first time me driving it yep it worked since i picked it up so i hadn't really did a a good inspection so you can see that side work too all the way up and i saw a lot of people have a problem because the light i only go to right there but my light go all the way down and the same thing on this side right here they do the same thing plus the tip make sure the tail lights is working too which the tail lights is working so like i said guys everything is working right on it and the guy installed it um it took him like two hours to install it like i said i was going to install it but i didn't want to install it and um the um mess anything up so i didn't install it so yeah they're working they got a car pulling up over there i'm glad they didn't stop and mess it up but that's one guys this one of the new add-ons that i do have is the headlights so my next add-on is inside the car and come with me guys i'm gonna show y'all what i done to the car inside so now we inside the cockpit right here and y'all can see this mirror right here guys so i install this mirror i will do another video about it um the gps is right here and i have to hide the wires up under this let's see under this visor part right here and then i ran it right here but when you turn it on i'm going to turn it on because i know y'all don't want to hear that beeping i have a gps mirror with a camera that record that record every uh minute so anything in front of it records so i don't know if let me see let me back up a little bit that's all my junk in the back but as y'all can kind of see i don't know the best way i can see but yeah i can see now so as y'all can see it showed the gps it showed the mount it record it showed the timing it showed everything and what you do you just hit unlock or you hit stop unlock and you can go to your recordings right here and see everything so it, like it's showing when i was just a minute ago when i was just right there and then you can go full screen or whatever you want to go so this brand right here is wolf box and guys it's very very easy so i still got to finish look you can see right see me right there on the camera you can see me right there on the camera so it records good so uh this brand is wolf box i still got to finish running this these wires down into my uh auxiliary i was going to use this one because i barely use that um auxiliary or cigarette lighter plug so i will use that for this and this don't drain your battery too if you get to like the fuse kit right now i only got it plugged into a cigarette lighter but you can plug into your, your fuse kit so uh this is the wolf box um you can get it on amazon i so far i hadn't had no um issue with it but i just bought it like literally last night well like two days ago and it took like two days to come in and i hooked it up myself and it was like, pretty easy and then it do come with a rear camera too but i don't have the rear camera installed unless you can see right now it don't look bad on our cars because our cars come with black mirrors so basically it they have two straps you see right there and well, let me back my camera up because oh there you go you have two straps uh right there and right there that sit over your factory mirror and when you sit over your factory mirror um it basically sit there as a camera and it kind of record anything that go on long as you got your acc on unless you put your uh connect your fuse to it 
But as y'all can see, the next thing gonna be for this Z is uh, tires. I'm taking these tires off right here, which is the, oh, let me back back, guys. I'm sorry about that. I'm taking these tires off right here, which is the Lionheart tires. And I'm ordering me two Firestone Firehawks for the two front, because uh, when I bought this, uh, not when I bought it, but when I put the tire, bought the tires on there, I had lion hearts on it, so I'm gonna take them tires off, put fire fire hawks, fire stones all the way around it. I already got fire stones on the back. I just gotta get fire stones on the front, and then I'm gonna powder coat the wheels in in the front wheels. So, being that the porch finally came in for the Z, um, I got a couple of things scheduled. Like I said, as soon as my cooler intake come come in from um admin which is going to be powder coated black and as soon as my uh injectors come in at the same time we will be going down to houston um if anybody want to meet up any vloggers or anybody want to do a couple runs we can um but i will be taking this down to houston getting it tuned the same day and getting that installed and as soon as i get that installed i will be putting the bc coilovers on the uh z2 which y'all can see it looked pretty bad I ain't gonna say it look pretty bad, but coilovers would make it look way much better. And I was I was doing measurement the other day. I can actually go two inches in the back, and I probably end up going like an inch in the front of lowness because I don't want to go too low. So that's the plan for them next two things. And after that, we will be doing the front splitter right there because it's all cracking bad and replacing that. And then after that, I think um hopefully we can paint it. So I think that would be like the last thing to do. And I think we'll be totally done be totally done with it. Somebody else pulling up. But um I think after that we'll be done. It'll be a, a full board on car, 85 injectors, intake manifold, um, test pipe, full exhaust, um, GTR spark plug, GTR injectors, uh fuel pump. I'm going to the wall bar, I think wall bar 255 fuel pump. Um and then once the summer come. Which is already getting high in Texas right now, but when it get closer to the summer, I'm planning on putting um, a cam in it. I'm, putting, I'm planning on putting the cam in it, and I plan on putting a uh, heat exchanger on there because I really, really need that. If I'm gonna do the cam, I'm gonna do the cam. I'm gonna do the seal on the front of the engine, and I'm gonna do the heat exchange, and then I'm gonna try to raffle the car off. So, guys, the Z looking good right now. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do to it. We gotta get the front tires. We gotta powder coat these wheels because they'll kind of look terrible if you look closer to it um and buy new tires then after that guys is basically going to the paint shop we're gonna paint it i ain't gonna release that right now and the z gonna be ready so that's the new headlights right here um i'm hopefully i'm hoping around the end of the month um my parts will be in hopefully around the end of the month to first of the month my parts will be in and then we can uh head over to houston to i think we got kentech motorsports and get them two hooked up Plus, uh, head to my buddy over there in Houston and get it lowered and get it stanced out. Well, I was just saying stanced out, but lower. It, it get it lower. I'm not doing a stance. I'm just gonna get. I'm just gonna slam it. I'm gonna slam it probably like one and a half in the front, and probably two in the back, or at least one in the front. And that's gonna be it. And then with my spring rating on the car, I basically went close to stock. When I ordered my BC coilovers, I did. I did a Swift spring upgrade. And I did uh, 10 kg in the front and 10 kg in the back. Stock D cars come with, I think, uh, 7.5 in the front and 8 in the back, I think. It's, it's something like that. So it's going to be a little more stiffer, which you want a little more stiffer on a car like this. Because uh, you got to lower body kit and stuff. And if I lower it, I don't want to be bottling them out all the way. So I think this, I think it's going to look pretty good on it. So like I said, guys, please like subscribe to the channel to get more updates about the Z. I try to update daily. I got tons and tons and tons coming in. The parts is taking so long to come in. But once the parts coming in, we're going to finish the Z. And we'll get the Z done. So I'm hoping in about six months, I can raffle this car off to one of y'all. If I get enough subscribers, and it can be somebody car and raffle. And the other thing, too, my pops uh, got the tent in for it. So we're going to tent the two sides, the back corner and the back window. Gonna be, it's going to be tented. And it ain't like dog dog tent. It's like lightly, lightly tent. But we're going to tent the two windows. And then, um, basically, that's gonna be it, guys. Oh, and I got, and then I'm gonna order the fenders too. I want the uh, Z1 uh, fenders with the little gap right there. But basically, guys, that's it. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.